The goal of so-called optimization problems is to find the maxima or minima of something, subject to certain constraints. Not all such problems, however, have an answer in the traditional sense. A strange instance of this unusual situation is what's known as Kakea's needle problem, posed by the Japanese mathematician Soichi Kakea in 1917. Kakea asked this question, what's the minimum area needed so that you could place a needle of unit length inside the area and be able to rotate it through 180 degrees so that it gets back to its starting position, but pointing in the opposite direction. You could spin the needle about its central point till it was upside down, and the shape it traveled over would obviously be a circle with a diameter of one unit. And this would have an area of about 0.785 square units. But there are much smaller areas than this if the needle is pivoted in other ways. Kakea explored various possibilities until he hit upon the deltoid, a shape that looks like an equilateral triangle but with sides that bulge inwards. A needle, or a straight line of unit length, can pivot completely around inside this shape while only marking out an area of 0 0.393 square units, half that of the circle. Kakea believed that there was no shape more economical than the deltoid in which to spin his needle. But he was wrong. In 1919, the Russian mathematician Abram Besikovich, in searching for a solution to Kakea's problem that gave an even smaller area, made a startling discovery. There actually is no minimum area. Besikovich imagined taking an equilateral triangle, cutting it into a very large number of very thin strips and then pushing these strips together so that they overlapped as much as possible. The result is a tree-like structure whose area, by cutting the triangle into thinner and thinner strips, can be made as small as we like. The branches of the tree can also be connected to each other, again using an arbitrarily small area. A single tree like this allows Kakea's needle to rotate through 60 degrees, so that gluing three of them together enables a 180 degree rotation. It's a very strange result, but nevertheless true. The area required for a needle to make a half spin can be as tiny as we like, providing it's not exactly zero. Thanks for watching. Check out some of the other videos on our channel and I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.